Hey everyone, this is Southern Gardener 27, and uh, this is a garden update. Uh, and this right now is my uh, parsnips. It has gotten very big. It is over a, a year old now, and it's going to seed. And I want probably want to collect the ones in the middle, not the ones at the stem. But these these are always the healthiest ones. And I'm going to collect these, grow myself, and give them to people. Cause they really seem to like this type of soil, even though that's it's native soil too, and it's not. You can see that's native, and that's with compost. I don't like to use compost all the time, but if it's my first bed, uh, the whole year, then yeah. Um, so these are my radish greens. Um, I you can it produces a a root, and you can eat those. And these are my uh, turkey purple. Not Cherokee purple, but Cherokee uh, blue mustard greens when they get a blue tint. But when they're old, they, they turn green, and they already turned green, and they're starting to bolt. And I'll show you what they look like over here. Okay, so back here, there are bush like beans. Over on the sides and the corners are uh, mellow yellow beans. So, yeah. Those are green beans, they're not drying beans. Here I got some herbs. This is uh, dill. I like dill for fish. I catch a lot of fish and frogs, so that's a keeper. Uh, cinnamon basil and the standard green basil are here. <laughs> Our uh, seedling is dull. Once I move on down, Stuck in the cars. I have uh, two orange habaneros, a standard classic, uh, never bearing strawberry. A uh, Cherokee uh, blue mustard green on the seed. Uh, more mellow yellows in here. And okay, I'm gonna start this off simple. What am I? What I have done with most of my gardens are even like something like that. Um, I don't really need it because it's a green or a root. So what I have done is uh, it's called companion ground, meaning that uh, this plant can grow with another plant, such as let me move the leaves back here. Those are cowpeas, uh, Dixie Lee, and these are going to grow up the stem. And this is going to and the cowpeas can provide uh, nitrogen, and this is also going to make it sturdier, meaning that. Uh, it's going to wrap around here and it's going to make it stick to the ground. Say there's a bad wind storm and it is it's coming down pretty bad where it's going to later. And this is going to help stand still. It's not going to be flying everywhere. And same thing with this one and that's my uh, my prickly pear cactus here. Uh, two chicks and hens. Uh, Ozark strawberries. Uh, June berries. And my Susquehanna River. And they produce maybe 30 in this in this lone runners in here. So I got 30 strawberry plants. I have no idea what I'm going to do with by, the, by uh, next year. I got another herb in there. Some wild dill. Here I am proud of this one here. Uh, this is a scar runner bean. The beans can get up to a foot long. That's the biggest i ever seen them. And down here you got a mix of seeds such as ground cherries and I do dig them up and that's why you see that area. These are ground cherries here and they're they like to grow all around the garden and farm and everything so these are uh not the right beans I wanted but I grow them anyway. That's okay. Alright, moving on. Uh, those are more more hot peppers. Uh, this is a beef steak. These are lemon boys. Um, and those are two grapevines. And what I do here is I, like I said, is a companion ground. Meaning that the tomatoes are going to provide shade for the onions underneath. And these are, uh, I got them on sale because they weren't looking so good. I'm hoping that they come back. And there's some in there. And all the way down there by the uh, grape of the uh, black congo. And that's going to help provide shade. And I ran out of space too, so.
come down here. Once again, I got uh, another beast that can uh, two beat your better boys or girls. Uh, the fact, yeah. And I got uh, two onions in each row here. And here's another companion grown. And these are my uh, super weight champions. They get about this peppers get about big as a basketball. It's a sweet bell. And they only calcium. But these this is not what they need. Um, so I do grow the uh, the turtle beans. They like it growing it here in the nice sunny shade with the jalapenos. And the jalapenos are uh, are going to need nitrogen. So that's why I grew the turtle beans to help it grow better and faster. So there is an idea. Um, this is my curry, my catnip plant. I don't own any cats, but I do make a tea out of it. My uh, rosemary for barbecues, uh, epizoic. And it's really starting to blow now. I don't think I'll see that, but I want to get this video done before it really starts to rain. Because I wanted to do this for a while. Okay, there's my Native American bed. You could get you a better view. Okay, each of these stakes kind of looks like a trapezoid, pretty much. And each of these bowls has a Cherokee purple tomato. And each side has the, uh, a scarlet runner bean. If you don't know what those are, it's a bean that gets up to a one foot bean. Um, there's another, there's another, there's another. And in the Pentagon, you'll see sunflower. There's one, there's one, there's one. And I, uh, this is my uh, tomato steak idea, is using normal sticks. And they look like they like it. So just don't buy them anymore. <laughs> I mean, I got that down there I, I uh, bought, but, you know, it's no fun doing that. And at every edge of the bed, I got a ground cherry plant. And down here, you see it's just been planted. Down here I got some cow horn okra, some red ripper cow peas and corn, and uh, Cherokee watermelon. Yes, and there's the uh, ground cherries. If I walk around here, you'll see them. All through this whole bed. And down this row here are my uh, peach stuff whites. Hobbs. And what this is going to do is each of these plants are going to benefit each other. Let me explain that. Uh, the ground cherries, <laughs> they're going to get big as a bush. It's a low crawling bush. They're going to grow here to here in, in the end of the year. And this is going to happen. And this is going to smother the weeds out of the garden. And this is going to help provide uh, medicine. Because it in this considerable inedible green, believe it or not, so it produces berries. Uh, the berries are actually very long storage, and if you've seen the videos, you'll see why. And this is popcorn, meaning that this here is a life. This whole year season of popcorn seeds. My brother likes popcorn. I like popcorn. I make a lot of uses for them, and there's a lot of disease resistant to it. And I like cow peas. Native Americans did, in fact, grow cow peas. This is Red Ripper, the variety I'm growing here. And they're going to grow up here, and the watermelons are going to help smother the weeds in the garden. I need to prevent out. I know you're supposed to have them in mounds, but it doesn't bother me. The weeds really don't bother me either. I mean, I'll pull them out, but, you know, they're going to come back. Here are my, uh... Trinidad explosives because Native Americans didn't they didn't grow this type of pepper. It was running out, but uh, you see it's new foliage. These are orange explosives. I never saw these varieties before, so I picked them up. It's supposed to be some type of Trinidad Scotch bonnet mix or something like that. Okay, underneath that pine tree is peppermint and tea berries, and down here more. Good Lord. Got a long garden. Okay, so we have sunflowers I planted in the back row. And uh, purple passion spinach in the front. 
And if you don't let purple spinach, uh, spinach it's, it's uh, orac. It's a old, old spinach before even spinach came along. So, yeah. Uh, summer squash is coming in. Uh, let me get a better view. And this is just an area, and this is going to provide enough for us. I don't like squash in particular, but I do like eating the seeds. But they are good tasting as well. Uh, cucumbers. Pretty good. These are a Brazilian tomato plant. And you will have a hard time finding these anywhere. These are called lychee tomatoes. I grew these last year thinking that these would never grow again. And guess what? I was mistaken. They didn't collect the seeds because they didn't fully ripen enough. So, yeah. People do grow these. They do have massive thorns. Uh, uh, they're small. You won't be able to see them now. But you'll see them when they get bigger. Uh, baby ghost peppers. Uh, Black Beauty eggplant. Sweet banana. There's 12 of them here. Uh, two elm jellies. Uh, Ghostbusters. Eggplant. Wow. That, there's wolfberry. Okay, right here we have a, a blackberry. Uh, and we have black raspberries through the sides here. And that's a red raspberry. There. That's a scarlet runner there. And there's a scarlet runner there. And there's a wild plant in here, but I have no idea what this is. And you know, you and you want to use a weed to fight against the weed. That's kind of why I grow ground chairs right next to each other. So, uh, if there are weeds growing in those cracks, the ground chairs are going to take over. Same with that, it's going to take over this. Because those are way faster growing. Uh, that's my uh, cabbage patch. Doesn't look too healthy now. Okay. We got three Trinidads. One, two, and three. And in the back here, there's uh, two white ghost peppers that actually survived. Back on the fence, you got cow peas that provide nitrogen for the peppers. And it's going to grow up on the fence. I'm really hoping this wind doesn't pick up in the video. So, blackberry, blueberry, more cow peas, and black nightshade, and that's a berry down there that tastes like a mix of a, 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 a tomato and a blueberry. It's weird. You have to cook it, you have to add a lot of sugar to it to make it taste good. But, I mean, that's what you can do. It grows like a weed. Eat the weed, so. There's a seed tray full of all kinds of stuff in there. There's my marugas. That's a strawberry ever bearing. That's a Jay's peach. That's a red potato. Here's my only uh, primo that Midwest Gardener gave me that actually actually sprouted. Actually had any success. Um, down here, there are yellow ghost peppers again. Over here, there are shiitake mushrooms. Down there are uh, black morels. And they're not going to grow until the sp spring, so I planted uh, orac in there, and that's purple. There's some mystery peppers in those uh, thing there. Oop, my finger got in the way. Back there are some mystery pe uh, not, uh AJ uh, pineapple, I believe. And... That's it. If you guys like the uh, this uh, today's update, so I probably won't make another one for a couple more days, if not a week or two, to give it more progression into the growth. Yeah, my ground chairs just smothered the weeds out because they actually are a weed. So I'll see you guys around.